Suplex Squad. I watched a video the other night that you had recorded when I wasn't looking, and we got squash. And it thing, this thing, these, it's only two plants. I only put two plants here because I had to finish out a row with pickling cucumbers, and I wanted to finish the row out, so I just stuck two of them butternut squash plants in here, and we got squash. They ain't, they ain't the biggest in the world, but they're big enough for me. Let's check these cucumbers. I've been waiting for these. I planted about 70 of these. I've been looking for them every day, hoping hoping that they would have some, and I've, I've not looked for a couple weeks. Look at that. I hadn't looked for a couple weeks, and now we've got cucumbers. Look at that. That's crazy. I had looked and looked. I didn't think we was gonna have any cucumbers at all this year. Uh, our plants just, they just wouldn't grow. I don't know. I just, I don't know. They just did not want to grow. Let's see if we've got any more while we're looking here. Oh, there's a few little ones. Three, three little ones right there. There's another little one. There's another little one. Holy moly. They're finally getting some on them. Oh, there's some more. Look at that. There's a good sized one. About as long as my hand, that's a good one. They're, these are the straight eights. We only grew two kinds of cucumbers this year. We grew the uh, pickling and the uh, straight eights. I like the straight eights. A lot of people want the burpless. There's another one right there at the end of that one. Uh, a lot of people like the burpless cucumbers, but I, I like straight eight cucumber. I've just, that's what I was raised eating. That's what I like. They, they have more seeds than, than most of them, but I don't mind the seeds. I eat them too. It all tastes like a cucumber to me. Me and uh, me and the kids like them. My wife don't really like cucumbers. She don't like a whole lot of pickles. Uh, I like bread and butter pickles and everything else, but she don't like a whole lot. Or tomatoes, or uh, not tomatoes, pumpkins. They're growing really well. We pulled up some volunteers that come up in the middle of our garden out here. I was tilling up and uh, come across them. They was up you know, good sized. And I said, it's a shame to till them things under. So what I done is I tilled up this little, this row here for pumpkins. I already had it tilled up. And uh, I brought the volunteer ones up to the end up here. Uh, I've got to weed eat this down again. It's, it's gotten back thick. What my plan is, is once the pumpkins grow up, I'm gonna train them to grow down over this little bank, keep them out of our yard. And they'll, they'll fill this in. and less weeding we have to do. Uh, pumpkins, they'll, they'll vine out. These were a couple volunteer watermelons. Don't know what, what breed they are or anything like that. But they're watermelons. So uh, there's three of those plants. This one here, it's actually jamming pretty good. Uh, I'm just gonna let it grow right up in with the pumpkins and go right on. If it wants to grow, let it grow. Who am I to stop it? <laughs> uh, looks like a dog's been in here and broke this one down. It's gotten brown on us. But uh, these, from from right in there, from right in there on down, these were all volunteers. Uh, looks like the dogs has got into them. They, them dogs are rough. They're, they're, you can see them over in the neighbor's uh, hay field there. They're just, they're rough on stuff. They, they like to waller around. They're, they're all three females. They're Pyrenees and Anatolian Cross. Uh, their mother's a great dog. We're hoping that we can get a couple good goat dogs out of them, but I... They look like they're going to be more pets than they are anything. Uh, we may have to break them a little while later, uh, chain them up inside the fence and let them know that that's where they're supposed to be. I broke their mother whenever she was about that age, and man, she loves to stay inside the fence. She don't want to come out. Uh, she loves to watch her animals, and if she doesn't have animals, she's bored to death. She runs and barks all night long. She just, she's bored. Uh, this is a volunteer pumpkin as well. Uh, it's actually just loaded. I've not touched it other than training it to grow back up. You can look right inside there. You can see a little pumpkin growing on them rocks there. It grew over a rock pile that was there. Uh, it's got a few little pumpkins growing on it. You know, if they're too early to sell for Halloween, we'll feed them to the animals. Nothing goes to waste. We'll pull the whole plant up later. Uh, there's a pumpkin there, and I think I've seen another one up there. There's two more right there. You know, this pumpkin plant, it's just one plant. It come up, it come up right in here. Right here's the base of it. It come up right in here. 
but it, it just it sprouted out and man it turned into a nice one i've not fertilized it or anything either uh it just it just wanted to be a nice pumpkin so it grew it what do you think matthew pretty good it's a good looking Very pumpkin good. it's a good looking pumpkin plant for for growing by itself i can't take credit for that at all uh well i guess i can we planted the seeds last year <laughs> Uh, if we hadn't planted the seeds last year, it wouldn't have come up this year. So I can take credit for that much. But other than that, that thing's done its own. It, uh, we've you not done it. anything to it. It's just went. Uh, Must have had big dreams. I wanted it, it to be giant. It, it, it had big dreams and it, it sprouted out and achieved it. It's it's a nice pumpkin plant. If if all of these plants here can grow like this one here, we'll be dead set on pumpkins. Uh, we save our seeds uh, from year to year to plant our pumpkins back. Like I said, we don't. Last year we dabbled in selling a few, but we didn't have no luck. We met a fellow that, uh, we actually went and bought a load of pumpkins off of them to feed our animals because we, we didn't grow as many as we wanted to. Uh, and he talked to us about uh, buying most of our pumpkins. Uh, you know, he, he said if we'll, if we'll pick them, grow them and pick them and box them up for him, he'll buy them. He'll come over and buy them all off of us. Uh, he actually gave us some uh, wing gourds. I don't know if anybody's heard of those or not. I may not even be... Uh, putting it out there right you know uh, i call them wings he called them wings they're little they look they're little bitty gourds and little little flat looks like crowns uh they're 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 ornamental gourds is what they are uh and uh, we we planted a whole row of them uh, it's and it's as long as the fence row uh you know it's they're they're popping up good uh, we waited a little later on them because uh, the germination uh, from from start to finish to maturity is 120 days. We waited a little later because we wanted to get it. They 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 grow fast once they start growing. Uh, they mature quick once they start because they're small. They it don't take you know like the pumpkins if they get this big it takes forever for get them to get them that big. Uh, the the little wings they grow quick. I mean some of them ain't that big around and that long. I mean they're little. Uh, so we we planted them a little later. They're taking right off. I mean they they're they're up this big right now. Uh, and we've got a whole row of them. Uh, we didn't know if the seeds would pop out or not. I soaked them overnight. Uh, actually soaked them a day and a half. I, I didn't mean to, but I did. Uh, and I didn't think they would grow. My wife went through. She said, how many you want me to plant in there? And we had a bowl of them this big. And I said, plant as many as you want to throw in each pot. Well, she went through with a, a spoon or something and uh, dipped out a spoonful and threw it. I guess it was 15 or 20 <laughs> seeds in each little hole this far apart. And it looked like in most of places, every one of them come up. Uh, they're, they're growing really good. Same with our birdhouse gourds. We planted a small, I don't know, it's about 15 or 20 foot long patch of birdhouse gourds over there. And man, they're just popping. Uh, they're, I'll probably keep a lot of those. I don't know if we'll sell a whole lot of those because I like those. Uh, it's good to make crafts and stuff with the kids, you know, let them dry out and harden. Then you cut a little hole out and get the seeds out, and then the kids can paint them or, or do whatever they want to. You know, I plan on making a lot of them and hanging them up in the trees and letting the birds have beds with them. Uh, so that's what we're doing with those. Uh, I appreciate y'all watching it, and if y'all like anything or have any suggestions on anything we can do to help out with our pumpkins and our corn and stuff like that, you just let us know. I appreciate it.